it's maybe explain the tie between the Bill Pickett Riding Academy and you know blacks riding riding horses. What I mean, why would it, North Philadelphia kid? Why should he understand that that blacks have a long history with with uh, riding horses? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> When my kids were very young, like Lance, he was about 12 years old. I remember us going to a horse auction, and I wanted to buy him a cowboy hat. And Lance refused the cowboy hat. He said, Dad, because all that doing is imitating a white man. You know, he was just 12 years old. Then that's when I realized that uh, he didn't know, understand the history of the black cowboys, the black West, and the contributions that African Americans played in it. So. That's when I start uh, getting material and stuff together so you know, that my kids can read so they can get a true understanding. We're not imitating anyone. If you're the origin of the word cowboy is really a black person. Because in doing slavery, we were referred to as boy. We took to it a, the plantation of cow. So that's how the word came about with a lot of people. So the word then got lost over the year. But it's really derogatory. You know, cowboy is referring to us. They were known as cattlemen and whatnot. And so he, now you got the Dallas Cowboys and everybody else, but they really knew the true origin of the word. <laughs> they lost some John Wayne films. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. So now everybody wants to be a cowboy, you know. And um, so there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a history there. If you really get into the history of the West, and we call it the Black West, it was the blacks who settled the West, you know, including the Buffalo soldiers. They were the ones who fought the Indians, you know, but they never played that. So it's that history that uh, I, I end up trying to teach my kids. Now we pass that on, because that's one of the things we do down here is teach the history of the black West and the Buffalo soldier. And we were some outlaws, too. There were some black outlaws, you know. <laughs> one guy that come to mind is Cherokee Bill. They hung him at 21 years old. He was, uh, he was, uh, he was part Native American, he was then Afro-American. At 21, they hung him. And his dying words, as he said, you know, they asked him, you, you have any last words? He said, I didn't come here to make a speech, I come here to die, you know, so. So there was good and bad, you know. And, but there's a history that was lost. Even when we were into black history in the schools, it was very popular, they never taught about the history of the black West. You know, they never taught the history of the Buffalo Soldiers. They're the ones who rode shots, uh, you know, across the United States, and they're the ones that fought the Indian. You know, it's nice to know black history, African American history, but it's best to know about your family, where you're from, you know, to get a better understanding of what's happening to you. So that's another thing I talk to young people about their family history, and then you get into the black history and all the other stuff like that. So, yeah, so there's, there's a history, there's a history. <laughs>